In this video, I am going to show you how you can track Parses event for Snapchat Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Hi, you are welcome to this video. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. I think you will never be disappointed. Let's drive in here. This is my WordPress WooCommerce website and I am going to track the purchase event. So first of all, I am going to go on tag and you can see here is no purchase event. So I need the ticker. So that's why I am going to preview mode and connect with my website. And make sure you have to connect it to track any website with GTM. And let's go to one specific product and purchase this product. So this is add to cart. This is checkout and put all the information and select cash on delivery and place the order. And you can see I have completed the part test and this is my thank you page. And if I go back the tag manager container, which was preview mode, and you can see here is the unique event, which is part test. So this is my trigger. I am copy this trigger and open new tag. Uh, sorry, uh, first of all, I'm, I want to open the trigger. So that's why I click on new and then use the custom event and input the exact same name and then save changes and now it's time to make tags so first of all i have going to new and select the snapshot pixel code actually it's under the template you can easily add this template from the community and here you can see I select the purchase event and the, some information you have to select which is purchase and it's a purchase price and it's a product ID actually it's a currency and one information one more important which is transaction ID for purchase event we have transaction id so that's why we have to make another variable here you can see here you can see all the information is here for product and it's a purchase for transaction id so i'm going to make the data layer variable and uh, just select the data layer variable and input the code which is e-commerce dot items dot transaction id and then save changes which is transaction id and then it's already selected and this the information uh, i don't want to send more information because it's a test purpose but you have to send as much as possible that you want so then purchase and here i want to give a name which is snap pixel purchase and then save changes and here it is so it's time to check uh, of course you have to check after submit this live container so I'm going to the preview mode of this website again and I will do the purchase again. So here you can see the tag manager is connected. And now let's purchase this product. So check out and then it's a checkout page and place order. And it's opening. Uh, it's need a few moment for and here it is you can see it's complete it's a thank you page and in the if extension you can see the purchase event also showing so that's mean our setup is perfect you can see our tag also fired and 
everything is working so all the information also coming here so now it's time to publish this live version of google tag manager and submit and publish it and then it will start working if you don't understand any part of this video or if you have suggestion for me please do comment i will really appreciate it and if you need my service that i'm providing as a freelancer feel free to contact me i would love to work with you that's all for today if you found this video useful don't forget to give thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel also if you want to stay up to date then hit the subscribe button i'll see you on the next video till then bye have a good day